Here is a unique application of vertical and horizontal conveyors. The overall dimensions of the conveyor system can be seen here. We start here on an upper floor in the main cafeteria where customers are dropping trays of dishware at a traditional tray conveyor. Dishroom workers remove all the dishware and sort them into bins. The bins then enter the first vertical conveyor and lower into the ceiling and exit onto a horizontal slat belt conveyor. It then snakes its way through the ceiling for about 200 feet. Here it enters into a second vertical conveyor and lowers into the basement dishroom where it exits onto a final horizontal slat belt to a scrapping table where the dishware is transferred to racks and conveyed automatically into a wear washer. To show you exactly how it works mechanically, here are the actual components for the job prior to installation, just on a smaller scale. The cafeteria and loaded bins are upstairs. They go down the first vertical, across 200 feet in the ceiling, go down the second vertical, and exit back to the final dish room. The entry to the vertical is the key to the entire system. So let's look closely at the starting point, loading bins and entering the first vertical. Here's a different angle to show the entry point better. Here is the tray accumulator where bins are loaded and sent on a slat belt towards the vertical entry. Just a few feet before entry, the bin transfers to an indexing conveyor. The definition of indexing is the sequential arrangement of material, which is what this system does. AeroWorks indexing is accomplished with these pusher pins on the belt that controls each bin entry. Then it indexes down and drops the bin on a horizontal slat belt for the 200 foot journey. At the entry to the second vertical is the identical indexing loading conveyor. Controlling each bin entry for the trip down to drop on a slat belt to be unloaded to racks for the final washing. There are strategically placed sensors throughout the system to detect any improper positioning, loading, or unloading. Troubleshooting the whole system is done from this single control panel. We can also arrange for cameras to be added to the sensors and an internet connection from the control panel to our engineers in Toronto.